Alright, hi everyone, welcome back to another video of Salesforce Makes Sense. This is Himanshu and we have started our Lightning Web Components curriculum. We have understood the prerequisites, we did a pre-introduction and now we are ready to jump into understanding and getting started with the introduction of Lightning Web Components. Uh, for, for context, um, there would be a bit more theory coming up and then we'll jump into the coding side of it. So be with me. It's very important to actually understand the foundation. It is always important to understand the basics. And that's how I normally approach any kind of tutorials, right? If you have seen my past tutorials, I try to uh, set the groundwork and then we jump into coding or doing use cases or practice questions. Uh, don't worry. A lot of it is going to come up. But yeah, be with me. We'll start with the introduction first. And as part of the introduction, the very first thing that is important to understand is what is LWC? Now LWC is short for Lightning Web Components, which is the next big thing in Salesforce. It's already being implemented by a lot of developers and it's being used by a lot of businesses. But relatively compared to Visual Force, Aura Components and Flows, LWC is a newer technology to adapt. All right. And that's why this tutorial, that's why these masterclasses wherein we want to learn LWC and we want to get ahead of the race. So LWC is modern, lightweight, and high performance framework for building custom components. Now, where would you really need it? You would need it everywhere in Salesforce wherein you need a custom solution. Wherever the platform does not provide the capabilities that a business use case is looking for, you can kind of pitch and suggest that, okay, let's go with building a custom component. Now, how do you build that custom component is by using one of the languages. One of the languages is Aura components. And now we have Lightning Web components as the modern framework. All right. So LWC or Lightning Web components is designed to replace its predecessor, which is Aura components. And for anything here forward, if you have to create anything in Lightning, it's more around, you know, creating custom components for the UI, you would have to go for Lightning Web Components. All right. So inherently, implicitly, what does it kind of contain? It, it, it is basically a set of HTML, JS and CSS, right? So you have the text markup language, right? The hypertext markup language, which is your front end text. You have the JS, which is the JavaScript that helps you handle events and handle clicks and listens to things. And then you have the styling, which is the CSS cascading style sheets. These three together comprise of lightning web components. Essentially LWC inherently is basically the combination of these three things. Okay. So because it leverages these three technologies, which are modern web standard technologies, it is consistent with how the web development practices are currently online. So now it kind of tells you that, okay, if, if I know HTML, JS, CSS, which means I kind of might be able to know LWC a bit easier. And that is true. And if you do that, you are not dependent on a single domain, which is Salesforce. You can actually code in Angular. You can code in JavaScript side. It will be easier for you to understand. So, so the idea of LWC coming into the picture is because now instead of having a proprietary language, which is just limited to your own platform, right? For example, Aura components, you cannot use Aura components outside of Salesforce, right? But with LWC, which kind of uses these basic web component standards, you are good to work or, you know, to look at things and solutions outside of the Salesforce platform also. All right. So that's one more important thing that LWC leverages these three things, which makes it consistent with the contemporary web development practices. All right. Now LWC is supported by the modern uh, uh, code building tools. So Visual Studio Code, which is something we'll set up before we start writing code, Visual Studio Code, Salesforce CLI, and it has a very robust and a helpful developer community. And any and every question that you have, a lot of articles are on, present online, you can refer code, you can get inspired from code in GitHub, and you can actually build on top of it. Okay, so uh, code builder is also generally available from Salesforce. So LWC supports even that. So there's no issue around whether how can I develop is are there any limitations, nothing like that on the tools perspective. All right. So that was some brief, very, very basic first level, high level information and understanding of introduction of lightning web components. All right. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.